Hello, Kathy here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about how I become a nurse in the U.S. without going to the school in the U.S. and going to nursing school here. And if you're international students who want to be a nurse or LPNs in the United States, still looking for how to do your transcript, and here's some of my experience to share with you. Hope that will gonna help. So while we're talking about that, I'm just gonna do my hair, do my hair right here with you guys, so we don't get bored. So I already sprayed my hair, oh, it looks messy here. I already sprayed my hair with this Chi uh, heat protection here. A little crazy. Uh, I bought this curly hair curlier for a while back, but I haven't get a chance to use it, so I'm gonna use it today. All right. So first of all, where did I graduate from nursing school? So I graduated from China in 2006. It was a five-year uh, program. Uh, I did four year and and actually studying in the university and off and on clinical and a whole year of intern by the end of the year, uh, end of the studying. Um, hold it until it beeps. So in 2009, I moved to the U.S. I did uh, some other job. I was a ticket agent at the airport for a while, and uh, it's pretty good. And I uh, did that for about a year until I got my license. So I got my license in 2012, which is uh, like right before Christmas. I was so happy about that, be able to get that done. Uh, anyway, so from the very beginning and uh, what I did, I, so nowadays if you apply for international transcript, there's some company called, for example, World Wild Educational System. You can just directly apply to them. If your school is registered with them and your school can send your transcript just directly to them and they can handle the um, transcript for your for you you just have to pay them there's no other hassles uh, but for me and, and I came here in 2000 um, nine and I didn't know anything about that so I did all that by myself so I contact my school uh, got my credit to be notarized first uh, it has to be fully translated in English. Make sure your credit is matched with whatever they're requiring. Um, and you send it to the U.S. Uh, the board, you, for example, if you want to apply state of California, then, then you will send that uh, transcript directly to the board of California without uh, any other handle basically means you you send it directly from your school and I have asked my school dean to sign that uh, my notarized transcript so it was directly mailed from my school to Board of California okay, okay just to let you guys know I'm not professional at this. I'm just, you know, when we're talking, we're doing something so I can go out later. And I'm not a beauty blogger either. I mean, it's, it might not turn out good. So, it's just need to chill. Wait until it beeps. Yeah. Uh. So if you're an international student, you're trying to apply for a nurse, uh, you probably aware there's a test is called CGFNS, and which is equivalent difficult as the NCLEX, but 
the downside is as an international student, you have to take two difficult tests in order to get your license. And all the state in the US, most of the state, they will require CGFNS except California. So that was the state I applied. And I was lucky and I, uh, I, I felt lucky because I just randomly, randomly just find out about California applying them. And there, um, I mean, a lot of people complain there are things uh, like border California, a lot of things are paper based. I think during the pandemic, they kind of changed. But back then, a lot of them are paper based. Uh, it takes a long time for me to verify. Give me a letter set, approval letter that said uh, I eligible to take the NCLEX. But still, I think that's, I think I waited about a month after I submit, submit after I submit all my um, documents. And the longest time is was my school that took the longest time. That took me about a couple months because it's, uh, I have to uh, contact my family and they have to actually drive to the school, get my credit over there, get it notarized, the dean has to sign it. But anyway, so in 2012, uh, I got my license. Then I was so happy. I finally passed it and with all the studies. And I also took a uh, NCLEX preparation class with a local school. Uh, the good thing about the NCLEX is if you, as long as you got the approval letter, you can take um, even you got, uh, I got a test, you can take the test from any state. So that's really nice about NCLEX and then it's really convenient that way. So I, right after I passed my uh, endorsed license in 2013, they have passed the bill, made it into a law, said that, oh, this looks pretty nice, made it into a law that you have to take a test is called OE, Occupational English Test. Oh, it's called OET. So basically, it's kind of like TOEFL, kind of like international student you, when you come to the US and you study here. And you just take that test in order for you to uh, take the RN and CLEX text. That's not that. Okay. So eventually I got it. My first job was in the Chinese uh, Asian clinic and I really loved it because I feel like my Chinese was being used. I can, I was able to help a lot of people translate. Well, eventually I left because uh, I wanna get into a best side nursing and my goal was go to the ER, which is I, what I'm working right now. I really, throughout the year, I definitely had a difficult time through my career. There's uh, the, always different kind of people I meet. I learned different things from a lot of uh, bright, bright and excellent nurses. I learned so much throughout the year. I enjoy help people use my knowledge to help the patient understand of medical information and especially when the patient have a question for me, I'm actually really happy to explain that to them. And because, uh, you know, help patient to have the correct information, be able to follow up with, with their doctor. Um, so that's just my experience, how I got, um, how I got how I got my IR licensing in this state without going to school here. It doesn't mean you have to do the same or you, or any way I've recommended you don't go to school in the US and um, become a nurse here. Definitely, nursing is really rewarding profession and I think you do need a uh, formal education for this. Uh, like I said, I did have my five-year degree from China. The reason I, the only reason I, because I did not go to school here is because I already had my experience and, um, and they also, I also worked in China right after I graduated for about four years, which is, uh, in the stage before you reply, they will require you to have a couple years of working experience in your own country. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.
Take care out there. See you next time. Bye.